Hey, it's Brian Thomas from the 55 KRC Morning Show. Hope you're having a great Wednesday. It's lunch out and about Wednesday. If you're getting this before 1130 in your neighborhood of Covington, Kentucky, you can join us for lunch. Joe Strecker and I will be there with a host of other people at Beale Street Cafe. The information on the blog page, 55KRC.com. Um, talk to uh, Jeff Burning today. Had a great talk today with, with Jeff. I'm telling you, he's as straightforward as he can be about the problems on Cincinnati City Council. If you did not get a chance to listen to Jeff, if you didn't get the pod, he, the podcast is available, is my point, and I encourage you to listen to it. The, 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 the refusal of the unions to make really any concessions insofar as our budget is concerned and the illustrations that he provides on the concessions they wouldn't make I really just kind of make your skin crawl. I mean, I love the police department, don't get me wrong. I find it, I think it's one of the best in the country. They've gotten awards internationally for being one of the best police departments in the world. I consider myself to be a friend, Chief Tom Stryker. My sister is a lieutenant on the Cincinnati Police Department. But the notion that unions will not make a concession on something so obvious as payment for five hours work when they go to court even if the court hearing is canceled, that's just wrong. You're getting paid for work you didn't do. Now, I understand being paid to go to court. That's different. But merely being scheduled to go to court on a hearing that gets kicked or continued and you still get paid five hours, that is fundamentally wrong. That's a broke thing whether or not we're in a bad situation financially. And last time I checked, as confirmed by Jeff this morning, we're in a really bad situation. So cooler heads are going to have to ultimately prevail on this, and unions need to really help fix the problem. Not exacerbate it and not draw lines in the sand. Just recognize that you, you guys have neighbors that are in a bad way as well, and the whole city of Cincinnati is a neighbor, and it's in a terrible way financially. So just because you have control over and can threaten our local politicians with uh, not being reelected doesn't mean you should do it. And just because you've got something rich and fat and inexplicable in your contract doesn't mean that you should fight to keep it when we're all hurting. So consider it. Listen to the podcast. I had a couple of authors on today, one funny and one serious. The information is on the blog page as well as uh, Bernie Sanders. If you want something to make your head blow up and eyes just or blood just spurt out of your eyes, read Senator Sanders' letter. The, the one relating to the, the shootings. And if you, have, you, can, if you can find a better illustration of, um, I don't know, bilking a situation, a tragedy, and trying to use it to his political advantage, I, I defy you. Let me see it if you do. But this thing is just beyond the pale. It's on my blog page. Be sure and send it to your friends. And this guy is one of the most powerful people in the country. Frightening, frightening, frightening stuff. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.